Today, we go over how to change out your trailer bearings on your jet ski trailer. Let's go. Okay, today's the day we're gonna do some uh, less sexy stuff on our jet ski or jet ski trailer. But it's something you really need to know how to do. Uh, so yeah, today we're, I'm going to take off the bearings and hubs uh, on my trailer and I'm going to replace them with new. The reason why I'm doing that, I I think I might know what the inner diameter of the hub is that you'll see in a second and I'll show you what we're talking about. But I just want to be 100% sure. I don't want to order the wrong part and then I got a trailer that's apart. I got to wait for the another one to come in and blah, blah, blah. So I just wanted to take it apart, take it to my trailer supply store, match it up, make sure it's right. And then the hubs that I'm going to take off of my ski, I'm going to use them as good spares. So that's what we're going to do today. Yes, not as sexy, but we'll cover it together. I'll stop when I need to. I'll do a lot of time lapse. So this should be a quick video. I do have bearing buddies. I always suggest you get those. Uh, I'll show you that in detail. Uh, but with that, let's get started. Let's go. All right, so yeah, we got it done, got it out. Um, just clean this all here. This is called your spindle. That's what the hub goes on to. Seats right here. Um, looking at it, looking at the, the grease is looking pretty dark, pretty nasty. You can see it's pretty black there. It's supposed to be, usually the grease is uh, red, but if you look on the other side here, it's probably going to fall out. Don't want it to. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe I can give you some more light. It's just starting to come apart and starting to leak a little bit. As you can see, it's starting to get a little, I guess, moist. <laughs> starting to weep a little bit on the outside. So I'm glad that we're doing this. All right. Back from the trailer supply store. I could not find a kit, uh, like a prepackaged kit when the bearings and the seal are already installed in the uh, hub they are available i did measure the inside of my old one um, for the actual inner diameter here uh, i don't have a dial caliper which would be more precise uh, but i did get a tape measure crest and it looks like it's right at one and a half inches it doesn't mean that's going to be what your ski but usually if you get those packages they ask for the for what the diameter is and i think there's a 1.25 or 1.5 my particular was 1.5 however um i did get the hubs i got the the kit the bearing and seal kits for it so i'll need to install that uh, which also comes with the cap um if you do not uh, use buddy bearings you can use this cap um but I noticed when I got done with everything with the I got two hubs, two kits, even got an extra seal for my um, current one because I want to put a new seal in it before I store it. Um, it was about hundred dollars. And I've shopped around for the kits that like prepackaged are already done. They're about hundred dollars a piece. So it's completely up to you how you want to do it. Um, I will put the part numbers for the hubs and uh, the kits here. For those who do have a Zeman, if they have my Zeman, I'll put the model maybe here on the bottom of what my model number is of the Zeman trailer. Um, it's unfortunate because there are some trailer manufacturers, they have a really good website and, or you can call them and they can tell you what you need to buy. You can just buy it directly from them. Fortunately, I didn't have that luxury. So, uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, well, first of all, I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and try to get the seal out here. Um, just to make sure everything is correct with my kit, I'm sure it is, but I just want to triple check it just to make sure, especially this, uh, the bearings, make sure they're correct. Um, or I can just throw them on the, the spindle. But, but anyway, 
I'm going to take this off, measure up, and then I'll put these together. And then maybe I can do a time lapse for you. There we go. So I forgot to mention, if your hubs are good, like if, you, if you're feeling, you know, that you can do this, you can take apart with kits and all that stuff without having to get the, the whole kit that's already assembled. Awesome. Neighbor. So if your races are good inside here, um, there's some people you can get a race kit as well, but if your races are good, I mean, you don't really have to do the hub. You can just do the kits. So it just save you a lot of money doing that because I think for the two kits it was $30. Um, but I prefer just get the hub, just make sure the races are good and I don't have any issues down the road. So, all right, let's do this. Yeah, I've got the um, bearings packed in there. I got the seal put in. You can see there. Uh, usually, if you have a socket that's the same size um, as your seal, definitely use that. I did not, so I just used a piece of wood to make sure it was flush when I was putting it in, and it worked fine. So now we got those going. All I got to do is install it. Um, again, I will say, if you buy a kit, you find a kit that works for your jet ski that's already pre-assembled, you don't have to do any of this. None of it. So what I'll do is we'll install, install the one side, and then I'll go over on the other side to show you installed, um, like if this was a kit, and then how easy it is to take on and off. So um, Also, too, I did get the cap off of my um, uh, uh, buddy bearing. Bearing buddy, <laughs> sorry. Um, this one, it says the size, it says a 1.98. That is for my ski, for my hub. Because it actually, this ring right here fits inside right here. So not sure what it would be for yours. Um, buddy bearing, they do have their own website. If you need to look it up uh, to see what works best for you. I highly recommend these. When I put on, you can see there's some rust in here. Um, that's on the outside, so, but the inside everything was super clean. Um, so what I'll do is I will put more grease in this when I get it back together. So what it does, you put grease in there, put pressure inside of the hub to try to keep water out. So that's the whole purpose of it. I had no water inside of here. If you use the standard caps like they give you in the kits, there's a very good chance, which goes right in there, just like the bearing buddy does. So this bearing buddy replaces that. You will get more water. And I've had a jet ski trailer with this style and I always had water inside the hub. Doesn't mean it's gonna fail right away. It just means the, the more water you get in there and it sits, it rusts, um, it'll just prematurely wear your bearings and your hub. So with that, let's go ahead in and uh, put it back on. Here we go.
All right, that's a wrap. Got it done. It's not bad. It's really, it, it's not bad at all. Um, again, if you're able to get a kit, uh, maybe I'll put a picture of one of a kit I can, I can maybe find online. I'll put it around here somewhere. They pretty much, they come packed with grease, you know, everything you need, except for the tools, of course. So uh, mine was just done a little bit differently just because I didn't know what I had. So that's why I went to the, to the trailer um, supply store and did it that way. If you know what your diameter is to your spline and all that kind of stuff, you know what the kit that you need, definitely do it. It is more expensive, but it's easy. It's, uh, you can pack it away in your car when you need it. So I have to make my own kit. So that's what I've pretty much done. So I've got my extra seal here. I put in my old hub. I uh, quickly um, packed this uh, outside bearing that goes on this side and I already got a box ready to put it in um, so it doesn't leak everywhere. So I'm going to put it in my supply box. I have a tote that I have tools and whatever I need when I'm going on a trip, with, especially with the jet skis. I have it in general. It stays in the car that we, uh, my tote vehicle. So yeah, I'm going to make it as like a kit so I can put it in there. I highly recommend that you do the same. Um, especially if you take your jet skis kind of far, if you're an hour or two out or beyond, um, especially like maybe you're in salt water and that, that stuff happens a lot more than fresh water like I have, but no, it was, it, it wasn't bad. Um, got them all, got them all together. Got the other side together. Hopefully it kind of showed on the other side. I wanted to show, I guess if you had a kit, how easy it is to take it uh, on and off. So like I already had a made a kit. Um, for the other side and that, I just kind of want to show how fast that is to do that but with your kit uh, obviously with your hub your hub kit make sure you have the right tools you don't need super fancy tools you need a big crescent wrench and I think mine it wasn't a 7 8 I think it was an inch and 7 8 is what it ended up being on mine doesn't mean yours is going to it just says 7 8 with one inch I think it's a 1 and 7 8 it, it's just weird on here, but it's big. It's it's a big old sucker. Mine was. So take a big crescent wrench. Just get a cheap one from Harbor Freight or something like that. And only, you don't really need it to take it off. I don't know if you noticed when I took mine off. I can do it by hand. But it's when you're putting it on. You're spinning it as you're torquing it down to seat uh, the seal. So that. Carry a screwdriver, needle nose pliers. And that should be it. So I think that's good. But yeah, I'm going to make a kit. I promise you it's not difficult to do if you want to do it. So at least inspecting it, you know how to get in there and inspect it. So a lot of people pay a lot of money for shops that do it. It is not tough to do, I promise. So, But with that, um, if you have any questions, um, please shoot them my way. And like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Sorry it wasn't as cool of a video, but I think it was an essential video. And, uh, but hopefully you learned something from it and I'll see you next time. Bye.